Joe Gallagher, thanks for joining us at, on Inside Athletic Performance. We're at Hotel Football uh, at the Anthony Club Crawler Press Conference. First of all, obviously a very emotional uh, day for you in terms of you know it's been a long road to get back here, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Are we on about the weather because the sun's shining? The out. weather as well. Changed, yeah. yeah, absolutely. No, it has. This and whatever. Anthony's been on. He's on a roller coaster of uh, emotions over the last 12 months from having a great night at the arena beating John Murray, having his world title opportunity cruelly taken away um, at December, and then here we are, then now, um, ready for another shot at the world title. And uh, just saying, you know, money can't buy this type of stuff. It, it's something that you don't uh, watch or read about in a book or watch in a film. It, it's a fantastic story. Managed to keep the opponent under wraps till the, the very last second. Was that a difficult job? It was with social media and everything. Today. And I've got to, there's people out there that knew about it, and I've got to say thank you for them for, for not revealing it and spoiling the party. Is it a good match of styles? How much do you know about uh, Perez? That is Perez, very good fighter, one of the hot world champions out there at the moment. Hits for hard with either hand. And uh, yeah, Anthony will be going in the fight as an underdog, very much I suppose like when Ricky Hatton fought Costa Tazu. But you never write these kids off from Manchester. They're, uh, the tough kids and uh, Anthony with the support behind them on the night, they'll be um, in that little bit more percentage in the ring on the night to get that world title around his waist. It'll be a big night for you personally, obviously with a number of fighters on the card. Uh, will you be able to spin all the plates at once, do you think? Well, listen, we've done it a few times before. We've had four and five kids uh, on the same bill over at the arena, but the stakes, as opposed to said, are a lot higher there now. We've got Jose Burt and Marcus Morris early on. And then, like you said, we've got Anthony Crawl in a huge fight and Scott Quigg, but that's my job, I've got to get on and do with it. There's other people out there that have world champions. I just have one fight on the bill and one in this, but I'm very lucky and privileged, obviously, honoured as well that I've got two fighters here fighting for world titles from Greater Manchester, in Manchester, an arena that's so famous for huge nights there at the arena, having David Hay there, Ricky Hatton there, Mike Tyson there, and for Anthony Crawl and Scott Quigg to be headlining there. Born and Braves is a very proud moment for me. Mentioned Quigg, how pleased are you that managed to secure the Martinez fight as opposed to the big, the big fight against Frampton? Great fight. You've got to understand that scene is a bit of stick from the announcement of it. When you look at it and go through it, number one was Rigondo. He took himself out of the picture. He's got legal issues. Number two was Santa Cruz. He's fighting, doesn't want to fight. Number three was Kyle Frampton. He was offered one and a half million pounds. Don't want to take it. Anita Dene is the next one. He's fighting July the 18th and fighting for the WBC belt. So the next one down the line was Kiko Martinez. So we're only fighting who was available to fight. We offered the fight for the guys above us and they didn't want to take it. Some didn't want to take it. Others, uh, are richer than what they think. Obviously, with fighting Martinez, there'll be more comparisons between Quigg and Frampton. Is it a worry that you know Quigg might not measure up the same way Frampton did against Martinez? What, what, what can Quigg do? The last time they fought, Martinez lost on points. So that's all we've got to do: beat him on points by a bigger scorecard or by knockout. Last time they fought, they lost on points. So what? We've just got to beat Kiko Martinez on points. There's, there's, there's no similarities. He's doing these things. And we're doing. I think. I think the break with Kiko Martinez has done him the world of good, as it has done Scott Quigg. I think when he was world champion, he was fighting often. Kiko Martinez had been caught on the road. There's a look of tiredness and jadedness in the fight when he fought Carl Frampton. He's had a break now, coming back refreshed. And he's got another opportunity to become world champion. That's going to try and take the both hands. I think Martinez is underrated by some people. Yeah, yeah, he overlooked. Is. Yeah, it is. And I do feel you've got to look at the, the fights that he's won in Atlantic City and in Japan. You can't write this kid off. Joe Gallagher, thanks for joining us on Inside of Flight yeah, Performance. No Appreciate your time and good luck on July the 18th. Cheers, thank you very much.